just here with Concrete checking out his blackout toys that he's brought this year. Tell me a little bit about your work, man. It's so beautiful. Like I was admiring it from afar earlier. You had like a big crowd this morning. It's been amazing. Like these are a set that I've worked on for a few years. And then I bought out the first set, which was just all black. Hence the name Black Eight. These are the new colorways that I did. It was like just so many people today. It's been like embraced massively more than I could have possibly yeah. thought. Um, the response has been massive on all of them. I've kept all these colorways, which are going to be future produced in the future. I do everything myself by hand, sculpts, design, color, finish, sand, everything. Um, these will all be for sale tomorrow on Sunday. So I kept all the colors for tomorrow. And also, today was these just- these were not for sale. Not That's today. the reason they're here. They were not for sale today. I did get pressed to try and sell them, but I only sold the black out set today, which is just all black. Yeah, yeah. Um, like the two big pieces that we've this got on the side. This is so nice, man. Tell me a little bit about this piece. Well, this one here is, it's originally the five inch figure. And then I decided to go a bit bigger because I thought it would help with different colorways and different designs. Um, and it was kind of a test as well, just to see where I could go with it. Um, when I printed it and when I made it and then sanded it and finished it, I was really happy with the size and the response again on those has been incredible. Uh, you know, a few of my friends have also wanted to pre-order them, I opened up pre-orders for 10 that will be delivered and finished for September sort of time. Um, and they've all gone, so, you know, I couldn't have asked for a better toy con really, everyone's been phenomenal and insanely like just enthusiastic about the whole thing. So yeah, I'm really buzzing, man. And you know, in terms of your process, so you're saying you're hand sculpting all this stuff, because yeah. this looks like, in, in, a, in an age where everyone's doing 3D printer stuff and 3D yeah. sculpting and that, this looks so smooth that like, to me, it looks so machine engineered, like it was done in a factory. That's, see, that's, that's the thing, like I, I am clearly a machine, because um, <laughs> I'm traditional sculptor. So yeah. I, I've sculpted for like the last 20 years professionally and I'm traditionally tall. So I, I, may, I do use digital stuff, but I kind of use it as a tool. Yeah. I don't predominantly use it from start to finish. So I'll do a quick idea on it and then I'll sculpt stuff over the top by hand. Yeah. Then I'll fine tune everything. And then when I cast stuff, I just take a lot of time on the finish. To me, like if you're doing an art toy, it needs to be art as well. So yeah. I try and finish to the highest possible standard I can. I try to finish the boxes in a way where they're displayed you know, professionally and in a nice clean way and kind of like gallery sort of style. I was just going to say, like, I, I, I don't, don't like take offence by it or anything, but this no. this seems like it's a level above toys and it's almost is like a gallery statue now. That's what yeah. I'm seeing. Something that is like so high end, such a nice finish that it, it, it looks like it looks like something that should be in a gallery. That, yeah, me. that's a massive compliment because that's what I'm kind of going for. I'm trying to like elevate that, that because I think sometimes people don't see art and toys in the same sort of context and they're a bit a bit derogatory towards it and i think that you know there's so many amazing things like if you just walk around today there's some incredible work yeah here. also different and it's it's nice to it's that someone has noticed that and you've obviously seen it and gone you know what these look like you know they're, they're crossing over into the art more than the toy and that's the idea that i could just do that yeah just to show you know what i'm capable of and if anyone does like it, it's great, but I, I, I just wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit for me, and cross over those markets from art toys where it can be taken a little more seriously, I suppose. What is the vibe of your work? Like, I get a bit of like a, a, street, a street culture kind of vibe, is that right? Like, yeah, you've got these but yeah, I use... You've got like a bit of like, looks like there's a bit of like war trauma kind of stuff. Yeah, well, I use things. a lot of like, oh, like all my stuff I used to base on, there's a lot of stuff that's based on films or comics, and stuff that I, I kind of collect myself. So I'm not a massive toy collector because I like my influences to be my own, if that yeah, makes yeah. sense. So a lot of my stuff comes from like when I was growing up. So I used to watch a lot of films, listen to a lot of music. A lot of things are named after certain songs or they're named, like I'll, I'll title them the lyric in a song. I, I don't really, I, I take it just from bits of everything. Everything that I do in my studio is usually based on music or films in some way. Yeah. So, you know, Tank Girl is obviously based on Tank Girl, but a more sedate version. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. as everyone knows, the Tank Girl is kind of in your face. It's like proper punk oh, yeah, rock. Is, yeah, yeah. But I wanted to kind of do a different twist on it and make it a bit more solitary. And it seems yeah, to have worked. Yeah, you've got a bomb, you've got a young girl and stuff. Yeah, that's, that's It's just trying to capture something that I don't think is quite, I wanted to do something quite unique. And I think I've 
I've, I've done that for me and people seem to have recognised that, which is the best no, thing. Absolutely. Yeah. I walked past your booth a few times and I says, that store looks awesome. That one over there, like, it feels like it's own little world you walk into when That's you get That's the here, thing. Man. I wanted, yeah, I want to create like a, you know, a world where there are different characters and there are going to be new pieces added. I've started working on new stuff. It does take me a long time. I'm yeah, known bet, for bet. taking quite a long time to finish or finalise a piece. I would like to be the guy sanding these down, dude. Like, yeah. it's, it was it, an it, a nightmare. Machine I did, work. Like yeah, said, yeah, I did like 50 pieces for the Toy Con and everyone was going, are you going to do more? It's like, 50 pieces? And they've all sold? Man. They've all gone. This, this is what we've got left here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I feel sale, really... Yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. They're for sale tomorrow because I thought the people who couldn't get here today need something and I get a lot of messages and I just want to be fair to every collector that's come over and been yeah, nice yeah. and you know supportive of my other work so yeah man well hopefully it'll be a quick day for you tomorrow then if this is all you got left and they, they sold that that quick this morning I hope so because I'm I'm quite I'm exhausted man no I bet you to are talking to people and stuff it's exhausting I've been we'll on my feet leave it here then man I won't talk to you anymore Wicked. it's been a pleasure man thank and you, you. Nice to meet thanks you very much cheers thanks thank very you. much cheers